Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike Chen. It's Dan Chen. Welcome to Beyond Science 2. And today we're talking about mysterious diseases, in particular this one Whoa. where they first found this back in 1930, in the 1930s, yeah. when Australian gold prospectors went to Papua New Guinea yeah. and they, they met this, this group of people, this tribe, yeah. about 11,000 people. Yeah. And there's some disease, weird disease, um, that affected about 200 people a year. Yeah. And they would die from this and, and it would be uncurable. And be, and when they get this, this disease, people will be shivering, they yep. be trembling, yep. and then they would die. They lose their motor skills. Mm -hmm. Okay, then basically they, they start uncontrollably laughing. So they actually called it like the laughing death right. or whatever. Um, and then eventually they their body starts to deteriorate and then they, they die. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's a, it's a very short time. And it's basically... Um, this this puzzled this baffled people, and they actually started sending some of like the world's leading like anthropologists, whatever scientists mm -hmm. to study. People devoted decades to try to figure out what was going on. So what they found was at the end it was a form of um, now they have a name for it. It's a prion disease, and they, it's actually likened to mad cow disease. Mm -hmm. They found that this particular type of people, tribe of people, they were consuming their dead by boiling their remains, eating their brain. Um, eating organs and uh, yeah they, they were eating eating their dead eating yeah. their dead so there were I mean because they, they wanted to show their love yeah like they they, they, they loved the, the people who were deceased so they ate them right they said it's better that we eat it yeah. than the worms right. were eat it and here's the thing so only women were allowed to eat it at the time so most of these deaths later on like in the 50s, like from the 50s and on, when anthropologists went to study and scientists went to study, they found that mostly women were yeah. dying because it makes sense, right? Now, it make, everything makes sense because the women were the only ones allowed to eat it because they're yeah. saying that they're, something physiologically about their body was able to handle the spirits from the dead. Yeah. Well, that's whole thing's messed up. Holy cow. Um, so oh. the concept of eating cannibalism is not new. A lot of cultures, you know, some cultures still, I mean, probably uh, in, in some remote regions of the yeah. world still practice this. Yeah, I'm there sure. are definitely individuals, I'm sure. singles who do it. I'm sure. But like, there has been a lot of like, um, there has been a lot of cases throughout history where, you know, there's something about humans right. that are different than, than just animals. Right. Like there, there are a lot of speculations that um, when animals eat humans, mm -hmm. then the animals will only want to eat humans. Right. And because... There are a lot of Eastern belief systems anyway that talk right. about humans are the only ones that can cultivate. We're the right. only ones that have like, I guess, I guess a, a primordial spirit right. that can eventually, I mean, this is Eastern belief right. system. And even multiple spirits yeah. in their bodies, yeah. So that's why, you know, animals, when they have a taste of human, they'll never go back. Right. And when people eat people, something else happens. Something else happens. And they stop the practice of cannibalism there. At, in Papua New Guinea, mm -hmm. amongst this uh, the South Four people, and now the the disease uh, has vanished, more more or less. Yeah. So that's I mean it's proof. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that movie. Uh, what's it called? With that Denzel Washington. Oh. Uh, when oh. he was blind. Um, you know what I'm talking about? No. The Book of no, uh, the, oh, book, book of Eli. The Book of Eli. That wait, I never seen that. That never seen that movie. Okay, so spoiler alert okay. for those of you who still haven't seen okay. it. That was like ten years ago. Yeah. But in the movie, because people there were it was it was a post-apocalyptic era. Okay. There were not a lot of people left. Okay. So people were eating people, and they were saying people who in the movie they were saying maybe yeah. they got the idea from this research right. from this what happened here. Right. But um, the people who ate people they start to tremble. Yeah. They can't. They're just shaking. Right. And then they eventually die. So um, this this stuff this stuff does does happen, mm -hmm. and there's something about our bodies that's really really sacred. I feel like. That you just not nothing is supposed to eat us. Absolutely not, especially not other another people. person. And look, I, I I respect all the work that these scientists and all these people have. I mean, you're talking about decades of research, and it's still going on. And they're studying this why? Because they could give them more hints into what prion disease is. Now they have actually a few categorized prion diseases in the world today mm -hmm. like uh, there's one called like Kurtzfeld Jacob disease mm -hmm. it's one of them it's basically like this right and they have three stages but like you said I think there's something else that is not 
that they can't that these people can't explain which is the mystical side of it yeah. which is the spiritual side of it because as much research as you can do i mean think about this it took them 70 years right they went there starting in the 50s now it's 2016 i mean they probably figured it out before that but it took them a long time just to figure this out i mean there well, could be other diseases that they have no idea also this is if you look at let's let's go let's take a look at folklores for mm-hmm. for example yeah. right there's a reason why in most folklores especially um if you look at folklores in china japan southeast asia whatever mm-hmm. i'm sure a lot of folklores here too right yeah they eat people monsters yes. eat people right right they drain their life energy okay you've got vampires that's one one, right. one one sort of monster werewolves they all feast all primarily right. on people right. why is that well in eastern Folklore is because people have some sort of essence yeah. in the fact that the demons, if you look at every single demon in Eastern right. mythology, they all, they, they say they eat, they don't necessarily eat the human flesh. Right. They eat the human like essence, essence. The, 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 the spirit. spirit right. right. Um, the most, that's funny that you bring it up because the most, uh, um, the most famous story is Journey to the West. Yeah. And everybody wanted to eat. Tangshen, the yeah. monk. I think you might have mentioned this on, on Beyond Science 1, where when you burn monks, yeah. there's a name for it. I think it's uh, Sarira. Sarira. You, um, after the, the monks are cremated, there's actual a tangible substance. You, you can, People can look this up. They yeah. can Google it. In the furnace where they're, where the monk have been cremated, and there's ashes, and then there's this substance. Like, how do you, how do you explain that? You you're not getting if you if your grandpa dies and you and you cremate him you're not getting this substance right. right well most people say it's just uh, it's just the bones or the teeth but but it's not it's only not. high level monks when they, when right. they, or people who have cultivated a long time when they burn right. you know they have these things remaining and it's supposed to be their energy exactly. and it's supposed to be not of this world so I did do a video on that so yeah. you can check it out on Beyond Science right, right. One. Um, but yeah, there's something about people that are special and when we eat other people, right. I mean, luckily this is not a rampant problem. We're like, hey, yo, stop eating people. Right. And combine that with the fact that when animals eat people, yeah, uh, there's something going on, going on like with, to, to them that they have to, they want to eat more people. Right. Um, it's just a lot of stuff, right? There's no, there's just, just not a coincidence that every myth, myth like legend out there, like they're all eating people. No right. one's like, hey, yeah, this monster, all he does is eat mice. That's yeah. a cat. Well, let us know your thoughts on this topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Later.